Hello and welcome to the United Stand. With only a few short weeks until Manchester United and Jose Mourinho kick off their Premier League campaign away to Bournemouth, here's my Manchester United 11 based on players that I think are going to sign and players that I think will stay. I'm sure there'll be a lot of differences. I'm sure some of my predictions won't come right. But this is the starting 11 I would have for Bournemouth and I really want to see what you lot think and how you would change because I'm sure there'll be a lot of differences. In at number one then, no surprises, the best goalkeeper in the world. I don't expect us to rely on him so much over the next season, but David De Gea is definitely number one. And uh, fantastic that he's staying, and uh, there is no better goalkeeper than him. I'm not even joking about that. He's a superb keeper and a brilliant team to build your team up, uh, off the back of. Right back, Matteo Darmian. Ah, uh, the exhale of breath there from some uh, viewers, I'm sure. But... And uh, he falls into that Louis van Gaal category for me, where uh, he's he's not been used properly. There's a lot of players like who were suppressed under van Gaal. Uh, I think he's one of them players who Jose Mourinho especially will get the best out of because Mourinho knows how to get the best out of defenders. He may not be here come August. He may well leave. There are rumours that he'll leave, but if he stays, I think Mourinho will turn him into a very good right back, or we may bring somebody in. But I would go Darmian at the moment. I've not really seen anybody out there. I know Fabinho has been mentioned and other right backs. But I like Darmian, I think he can do a job there. Left back, Luke Shaw. Uh, without doubt, would have been our player of the season. Cruelly, cruelly robbed of a season, and, and uh, although Danny Rose has done well for England, Luke Shaw's just on a different level. He will have a massive season for Manchester United next season, for sure. Brilliant player, can't wait to see him in the United shirt next season. My centre-backs, one of them picks themselves quite easily, Chris Smalling, I think a uh, shining light over the last two years from Van Gaal's reign, fun funnily enough, after that sending off uh, away to Man City a year and a half ago, he's really gone on from that, I think he's done well in the Euros, um, I think he's, a, he's one of the top centre-backs in Europe and Mourinho will only make him better, like De Gea, it's frightening really. So. My other centre-back, it can't be Blind, it can't be Rojo, it can't be Phil Jones. We're going to have to buy a centre-back. I know we've bought Bailey. I'm not 100% sure he's the finished article yet. I think he's sort of being brought in as cover. Um, very good cover. Manalas from Roma. I don't know whether we can get this deal done. He's strong. He's got great recovery pace. Um, he's done it in Serie A for Roma, like I say. And I think he's got the natural game to be absolutely superb in the Premier League. The big question is, can we wrestle him from Roma, who are adamant they're going to keep hold of him? Um, but he would be my choice, and that's what it is at the moment. So my back four would be Darmy and Smalling, Manalas and Shaw with the hair in goal. Moving into the midfield then. Um, I'm going to go with the fact that Mourinho normally plays two midfielders, sort of box-to-box -box holding sort of thing. They're not holding, really. They're, they're, the, they're the midfielders, the engine room. So there's two, two in there, three attacking midfielders out of that, and then a number nine. My two attacking midfielders, then. First of all, Morgan Schneidlin. Like Darmian, totally misused, totally suppressed by Van Hel. Why go and get Matic when Schneidlin is younger, I believe better, and will be, and, and he's a Manchester United player already. I don't want Matic, he's done it for Chelsea. It's like borrowing somebody else's wife. Let's use our own. We've got Morgan Schneidlin. I think he can, I think he can do it under Mourinho. I think he's tenacious, strong, he's decent on the ball. We've not seen anything like what he was like at Southampton, one of the best midfielders uh, in the Premier League. So yes, yeah, Schneidlin at one. Two, I'm not buying anybody. Bastian Schweinsteiger, again, Injury permitting, probably the best midfielder in European football, or certainly in the top three or four. Uh, I truly mean that. He is a very, very good talent. He's carrying a bit of weight. He needs to lose that. He needs to get fitter. He, there are injury questions over him, but he can combine the role with, the role with Carrick. My ideal two midfielders would be Schweinsteiger and Schneidlin. I think that the, as in them roles in a Mourinho team, they would be absolutely perfect uh, and bring us some experienced, balanced, tenacious, good on the ball. In that role, they've got to, just got to be able to be tackling, uh, tenacious like I say and when they've got the ball use it and feed the players around them and those two can do that comfortably the three attacking midfielders then starting on the left Anthony Martial no surprises again for me the most exciting youth talent in world football and I think he's only going to get better under Jose Mourinho uh, and I think that's, that's really exciting isn't it when you think about that and uh, also I think what he will learn under Mourinho is uh, more about the when you haven't got the ball side of things, which is which is very important as well. Um, and I think in a couple of years' time he will be a striker. But for the moment, what's the problem with him doing it out on the left like Thierry on? You're really used to the number ten position. Um, I'm going to go for Wayne Rooney. I think he's had a good season. End at Manchester United. 
I think in, in the Euros, in the midfield, he's probably surprised a lot of people. But still, I believe, as Luther Mateus has said the other night, uh, that Wayne Rooney's best position is without a question uh, in the number 10 position. And I think that's where he should be playing. Um, one of two things will happen. Mourinho will get the best out of him, or he is on the decline like some United fans think, and we'll have to bring somebody else in. But I think he's the club captain. He's so close to the club uh, scoring record. I think he will start the season. And it's whether he can continue that form he's sort of shown over the last few weeks or whether he jumps back to the last 18 months under Van Hel. So number 10 would be Wayne Rooney. Uh, on the right side of midfield, I'm going for a signing here. I don't think there's anybody who is good enough going forward, um, creative enough and also disciplined when we haven't got the ball to play this role. Uh, Lingard needs to fill out. Uh, Matter's not a right midfielder. Valencia and Young, not if you want to win the title, I'm afraid. So for me, it would be Willian. I don't know whether we can get that deal done. But he's, uh, he's Premier League proven, he's very creative, he's good on the dead ball situations and he's very hard working when we haven't got the ball, which is essential. He's allowed to express himself under Mourinho when he has got the ball. This is if he's at United. Um, but when they've not got the ball, you've got to help out and uh, William would be perfect for that. If we can't get him, I'd like Mkhitaryan from Dortmund, heavily linked to him or Lozano, the Mexican. I think we need somebody, like I said, who's quick, creative and hard-working and we don't currently have anybody good enough at the moment in our squad, so I would be bringing the right winger in. And my number nine, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Controversial, I know a lot of viewers don't agree with this, but Zlatan Ibrahimovic is the right number nine for this sort of side. He's strong, six foot five, physical, great holding up with the play, can, shoot, can score with his head, um, can do absolutely everything. And with that team behind him, People bombing on like Martial and uh, a Willian or a, or a Lozano, Rooney as well, bringing people into the play. All the midfielders are ball players, and uh, also if you want to just knock it up to him, he's going to fight the centre backs, which Manchester United have missed. If you want to put a ball into the box, you've got a six foot five striker again, which Manchester United have missed. I just think it, it's it's the as a team with that as a focal point and everything off him in them three attacking midfield positions. I think it's a really exciting side. So that's my eleven. Uh, De Gea, Darmian, Shaw, Smalling, Manalas, Schweinsteiger, Schneidlin, Willian, Rooney, Martial, Zlatan. I think that team can do anything in the Premier League. Obviously, there's, there's squad players that have that have missed out there. I'd like to see Daley Blind on the bench, Herrera on the bench, Fozu Menza on the bench, Rashford on the bench, and maybe a couple of other signings just to supplement what we've got. But that is my eleven. Surprise myself that you know for all these players, I think we're going to sign this summer and get rid of. There's actually only three new signings in that 11. Tell me what you think about that, because I think that's quite surprising myself. However, it just shows we, we've got a lot of good players at Manchester United. They've been suppressed by Van Gaal. I think Mourinho will bring the best out of them. Yes, we need to buy players, but let's not get like Man City and Barcelona and Real Madrid and buy new toys every summer. They were misused last year. We bought a lot of nice new toys. Let's use them like Schneiderlin, Schweinsteiger, Darmian, Shaw's back from injury. We don't need to go out buying six or seven every summer. Let's use some of the players we've got. Give me your comments on the 11. I know yours will be different. I'm really excited to see what you think. And uh, obviously drop us a like and keep commenting on the United stand.